It's 2021 and there are so many opportunities to work for yourself as a designer. I'm here to tell you today how you can do that. My name is Kelsey, I'm a graphic designer. I do mostly brand design, but I also do web design and social media design as well. I make videos all about how I do this and different tips and tricks on it. And then I also do different videos on taking you through my life and my journey as a designer. If that's something you're interested in, please subscribe below. So my first tip is freelancing, which of course is an obvious tip, but it's also a great way to do it and there's countless services you can offer. You can do brand design, which is something I do, which is creating different logos for people, creating their style guides, creating patterns and textures. You can do marketing materials such as social media graphics, promotional materials, different banners or signage for businesses. You can do print design such as creating wedding invites, you can do magazines or other material like that. You can do ebook design. You can do web design. You can do animations and video assets, such as different ones for YouTube videos here or for social media. Again, you can be an illustrator and create different illustrations for people that are going to custom order those from you. And what I do is I do a few of these, of course. So when I'm a brand designer, I offer a few different supporting elements with my brand package. So someone could also add on print material. So maybe they want thank you notes to go with their business, or they could add on social media graphics, or they could add on social media highlights. I've done this for a few different clients. So you can take a look at that if that is something you're interested in. And I have a few videos that go a little bit more in depth than that. But if you would like to learn about any of these other areas, please comment below and I'm happy to talk more about them. So maybe you've decided on which area you wanna focus in, but how do you find that work? There's a few different platforms. First, of course, I'm going to talk about different social media ones. Instagram is awesome. That's where I usually find my work. A lot of people will see the different clients I've already worked with and I will post about it and share the content and work I did and then they'll reach out to me via DM or my contact form that I keep in my bio. Another area is Pinterest. This is very common for freelance designers to post their work on it and for people to find them through that work again. It's not as much as someone reaching out to you on that platform, but if you are always connecting your website through every single graphic link, then you have a way for someone to contact you. Another one is LinkedIn by using your connections. Again, if you're posting about your work and talking about what you're doing, people are going to see it and think of you when they need some kind of design help in that area. Another one is your personal circle or word of mouth. So personal circle is great if you tell everyone what you're doing. And again, they're keeping you in mind as you are doing your different designs and maybe they have a project come up that you could be a good fit for. Word of mouth is great as you work with more and more clients because it expands your circle. And a lot of people depend on word of mouth because they wanna know you have great reviews, you have a great person that is recommending you and someone they trust. So that is an excellent way to get clients. Then the last way is cold calling. So this is really just seeing a business and seeing where they may need help. And if it's a specialty for you, then you could reach out to them and say, hi, I love your business. I love your product. But I would see if you're interested in having some type of design help in this area. You have to be very careful how you word it because you do not want to offend them. But you just want them to let them know that you're here and available to work for them if they're interested. Sometimes I'll create a list if I come across something just to have in my back pocket. Like if I get an email newsletter from a business that I like and think maybe they could use a little extra help designing it there, that's someone that I'll add to my list or a website or social media content and things like that. The next way you can make money as a graphic designer and working for yourself is by creating assets that many people can use. This is great because it's a sense of passive income, but in reality, you have to market yourself to get people to know about your work. So it takes a little bit of work, but in the long run, it can be great. So this could be something like prints. People love having prints that they can either digitally download or they can have them be sent to them and mailed to them, or they could purchase them in a shop and have them be able to be framed and put on their wall for decor. You can also have stickers. Stickers are very big, of course. You can create something that people really love or really relate to, like maybe it's something to do with hiking or coffee or the state you live in. 
You can do illustrations. A lot of people will download illustrations that they can use for their own use. Or again, it could be something like an illustration of their favorite character, or it could be an illustration of their state again, or their school that they went to, or something along the lines of that. Another one is patterns. People love to have different patterns. This could be for a wallpaper. This could be for a brand project. It could be for someone to use in a different social media type of ways, but patterns are a great way to have passive income. Another form are gradients. People love downloading gradients to use in different projects. Another one is creating a typeface or a font for someone to use. Another one is creating different templates. This could be resumes, these could be Google Slides, they could be PowerPoint presentations, they could be wedding invites. There are so many different templates you can make that people really need to use. You could do Procreate brushes. This is very big as more and more people get involved with using Procreate app and that's a great way for others to download and be able to use your material. You can do Lightroom settings. A lot of people will sell these so they can use them on their different social media content. You can do different mock-ups, which are great to be using on different graphic needs. Maybe it's an invitation mock-up. Maybe it's a laptop mock-up. There are so many needs for mock-ups. You could do icons. These are great for just general use or for social media use or website use. A lot of people are looking for icons. You can create social media templates. This is great for people to plug in exactly what they want on their social media, but to have a customized look. Last one is websites. So you could do this for a show it that's super popular to create templates on and for someone to download your template to use on their site, or you could do it on other platforms as well. Now you're probably wondering where you can sell these on. Of course, you can do it on Etsy. A lot of people do that because you can do digital download or you can do it printed. You could sell it on Redbubble. You could do it on Society6, you could sell it on your personal site, or you could also do it on the Creative Marketplace. So Creative Marketplace is a little different because you have to be accepted to be a seller, but it's very prestigious, I would say, and a lot of people trust the work that goes on there. So if you can get a spot on there, it's an excellent platform to sell on. The third way to make money as a designer by working for yourself is by creating content. This is so important. It's exactly what I'm doing here, but a lot of people are looking for the resources and to learn from someone. Not everyone goes to school for design. Sometimes people pick it up on their own or sometimes people just need some new extra learning devices and this is a great way to do it. So of course you could do it by YouTube videos like I am doing. You can do it by leading virtual events online. You can create consistently on social media. So maybe you really have a knack for Instagram and you create a lot of great tips and tricks on there to share. And then you could also work for a learning platform such as Skillshare or maybe you have a Patreon that you have different tiers and different levels that people can purchase on. But either way, any of those of acting like a teacher or a leader in the design industry can really bring you back money and expand you as you have more and more experience to share. I hope this video helped you personally. I combine a few of these to really create and have multiple income streams and it's just really fun for me to have a few different varieties. So if you have any questions on it, please comment below or feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram as well. And I look forward to hearing from you. You can still walk away. What if I told you this love won't be easy? Will you still be